whatever the Russian schoolboy knows. Hello, my friends. This is Grandmaster Alex Hermalinsky with his show, What Every Russian Schoolboy Knows. Well, people, we we in for a long ride. You know, there are so many of this basic endgame things, you know, for us to, to go over. And, uh, well, the relevance is proven time and again. Well, a lot of you were sitting there and watching together with me and uh, a group of um, uh, commentators here on the Internet Chess Club in the last round of the Tal Memorial, that game between Hikaru Nakamura and Magnus Carlsen. And people were like, can Hikaru hold a draw, you know, is that a win, is that a win for block, you know, Carlson had an advantage. Opposite cover bishops, and, uh, well, I gotta tell you, first thing that the Russian schoolboy learns, that these things are not decided by, uh, uh, by debate, however intelligent it is. There is no room for it. Well, this is the hard science of chess. And games like this, you know, they, they need to be worked down to the bone. And what helps you in doing this is familiarity with the typical methods. But there is no room of saying, okay, this is minus 1.73. That means nothing. You know, and then games like this, you know, well, it's either a win or it's a draw. And uh, that part is very important, you know. So what helps you to figure out... Um, the correct evaluation, or even more important, what helps you to find the right way in the actual game. Well, well, many uh, authors of end game books and coaches too. Uh, well, they uh, they touch the subject of uh, opposite cover bishops numerously. I would obviously uh, be wrong if I didn't mention Mark Dvoretsky. Or the famous, you know, Russian coach, and then whatever, you know, and then he's done a lot of good things. And uh, his study of opposite cover bishop endings is, um, it wasn't really groundbreaking, I would say. People knew what he was talking about, but he put things together in a way, you know, that people could understand. So that's very important. That's the, that's the foundation. However, during the course of our meetings here, I will touch some subjects that mark uh, the esteemed coach, you know, for either, for one reason or another, left un, untouched. But first to the basics. Okay, so this is the game position from my game I recently played against the Dutch Grandmaster Luke Van Willem. Now, well, three pawns each. Now, we hear talk time and again that opposite cover bishops, you can be down a pawn, you can be down two pawns and uh, make a draw. Yeah, that's true. Although in many opposite cover bishops, you can be up a pawn and then you'll be lost. So, well, there's no guarantee in reaching a draw. Now, a guarantee, that's the key point. There is only one type of defensive position where your, your draw is ironclad, if you wish. It's when your king and you're a defender, I was the defender. When your king is in front of the pawn, a passed pawn, and it cannot be pushed out of there, not only by direct attack, which is impossible, so, you know, light square and the black has dark, white has dark square bishop, but also not even by the means of Zugzwang. We'll be talking about this a lot. Now, while the king does that, what your bishop needs to do, your bishop needs to anchor your pawns and prevent any kind of breakthrough that would give the opponent the second passed pawn. Now, you're not that far away from this. What you need to do, you need to put, put your pawn on e6, and uh, bishop on e6, and your pawn on g6. Now, if you look at this with your king busy elsewhere, namely a8, can the white king do anything against the setup? That triangle, if you wish. The answer is no. There are no breakthroughs possible, and there are no zugzwangs possible. So this is the draw that Black 